it is Monday. It's a very Monday Monday. There's so much confusion going on with school related stuff this morning, not on my part, but on the, the teachers and stuff. Um, Aiden had his the second half of his speech evaluation this morning, so he had to miss math class, and his speech teacher forgot to tell his regular teacher that he had his speech evaluation, so she was like rushing to email her and let her know. Then he was supposed to have music right after, but the music teacher didn't let us know until like right before class was supposed to start that she wasn't having a live class today because she wasn't going to be there. Um, and then for tomorrow and Wednesday, I, for some reason, I don't know why, because it's the same every every time they do that Star 360 testing. I was thinking he didn't have live classes those two, day, two days, but he does. He just has to go at different times with his the special needs teacher to do his Star 360 tests. So he has to like miss two classes to do those. Um, at the time, other kids are doing like the regular classes, so he has to be excused from those too. And then Thursday and Friday, he doesn't have any live classes because there's, well, he'll have like the, the special ones, but Thursday he won't have any because he doesn't have anything special that day. Um, Thursday is like <clears throat> a professional development day, so none of the teachers are going to be on. And then Friday he will just have, like last week, he'll just have his speech and social skills class. So. It's a whole bunch I had to write down because this week is very different schedule-wise and I didn't want to screw anything up. And Oh wait, that works out pretty well because if he d really doesn't have anything Thursday and Friday, then the week after is all vacation. So that's kind of like he gets a nine-day vacation, almost, <laughs> because he'll still have that random stuff on, on Friday. But it is his lunch break right now, so I'm trying to get some stuff done. Steven just left to go to that job interview, the one that got rescheduled for today because the guy couldn't do it Friday. <clears throat> Still no sign of the kitty cats. I'm I'm trying to be optimistic that they just like went off and they'll probably come back, but it's not like the orange one to not come at least once a day for treats and stuff. Um, but then again, like, I don't think anything bad happened because for both of them to go missing at the same time is kind of weird. And I'm really, I'm really leaning towards, I think the lady next door took them in the house. Like, thanks. I put all the work in to get those cats used to being around people and you friggin' took advantage of it and scooped them right up. I haven't seen her yet. Like I told Steven, if you run into her outside or something, ask her if she's seen those two cats because I at least want to know that they're okay. But then... <laughs> Uh, about a half an hour ago, I went to put food out for the other cats that keep coming around. Um, <clears throat> I told you, we have the, the short-haired all-black one and the super fluffy all-black one. I still can't make any progress with them because they run from me as soon as I open the door. The short-haired black one did stay at the bottom of the stairs and let me toss some chicken to him. But those two are like, they're definitely not from that pack of cats. They come from somewhere else. They just know that I put food out there, so they come over here often. Um, but the two that have been coming all the time are the, the short-haired white one that has orange spots and the super fluffy gray one. So I put food out there for them, and then I went to check and see if they were out there. They were having sex on the back porch. <laughs> like, the gray one was, like, trying to swat him away, and... Uh, I can't, and then I'm like, I told Steven, I'm like, well, we're probably going to have more kittens now because those two are out there banging. Uh, I, I, like, there doesn't need to be more stray cats, but, um, if the kittens start coming around, I don't know how many they're going to have, like, it could go either way because, like, the, the, batch of kittens that Julia was from, there was only her and one other one. There was only two kittens in that litter. Um, so I don't know. I only used the Arctic Fox Money Honey stuff. It's got like an insane amount of body and poof to it because I cut it too short. But 
other than this bump from having it up in a bun. It's like not frizzy at all and the curls are insane. Like it's super bouncy, flowy, super lightweight. <laughs> I need to wash it today so it's a little oily but um, I don't know why they don't market that stuff as a, a curl product because I've tried a lot of curl stuff a lot of expensive curl stuff too like my favorite or one of my favorite products is the living proof um the curl enhancer i think it's called it smells so good but it's like 28 dollars every time i have to buy that stuff and this works better than that does this is i, I think this was 16 or something like that so that's not, it's not cheap either, but it works so amazingly well. It's not even funny. Like to only have to use one product when I get out of the shower, that's unheard of for my hair. So definitely gets two thumbs up from me. Um, I didn't dye my hair this weekend. I had every intention to do that, but I just had too much stuff to do. And I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it this weekend either. Cause I have to get the taxes done. I didn't do it this past weekend, even though I wanted to, I was like, very procrastinating everything this weekend. Hiccups. So I didn't get much done that I wanted to get done and now I'm aggravated about it. But um, I'm gonna go because we have to get back on soon for his last two classes of the day. This is the the all black kitty cat, the short haired one. Like I said, I can't even open this door because he'll probably run away. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, he did, he or she did sit at the bottom of the stairs the other day and I tossed some chicken to him, but he won't get any closer to me than that so far. Hey, you're a pretty kitty. I originally thought that he could, like, couldn't keep his tongue in his mouth. Oh, there he goes. But... It seems like that was just that day, that first day I saw him. Earlier I thought I like super hurt my eye because this is so stupid. I was putting this headband on and it's kind of tight. I'm going to end up having to take it off because it's going to give me a headache. But I, I had it like stretched to put my, to like put it in my hair. And when it was right here, it snapped and somehow went in between my glasses and hit me right in the eye like my eye was open and it, oh I couldn't open my eye for a while it was like every time I opened it it felt like there was fire blowing in it oh it was terrible I was like concerned that I hurt my eye really bad but it seems to be okay now it's just kind of irritated oh my god um I kind of pulled this out of the way because I can't I'm, th I'm thinking of taking it down like if I have the the camera angled like this you can't see the my messy makeup table in the background too much so the main reason I put that there was because I intended on making like reaction videos and stuff and then that never happened it might still happen but I just never have time to film more stuff um what was I gonna say I was eating Pringles that's why you can see this Pringles can in the background um today was so busy like I, I am exhausted from like not physically doing anything but all eating school stuff and then like he had his star 360 reading test today and then tomorrow's supposed to be the math one but I realized at the end of the day today that they have him scheduled to do that at the same time that he has speech so I had to email his teacher and I was like do you want me to let the speech therapist know that he's gonna be late for that class um, and she was like, no, I don't want him to miss speech. I can't believe I missed that and scheduled him at that time. So he has to take it at 1230 instead, which is going to give him only a half an hour for lunch break. So he's not going to be pleased with that. <laughs> but that's why uh, we usually choose to do the, the reading one first, because the reading one is harder for him. The math one won't be too bad. He usually gets done with that quicker. Um, so it's just, I'll, I'll be happy when this week is over. And then that's the other thing. I thought we were going to be, not have to do anything on Thursday, but like whatever worksheets she posted. And then Friday would just be, Friday's still going to be the same. It's just speech and uh, his social skills class. But 
Thursday, his occupational therapist, because he had OT today, she wants to do the first part of his evaluation. Like, he's all done with his speech evaluation now. It's time for the, um, the occupational therapy one. And she said she sent me a packet in the mail that'll be for the second part of it. Um, but the first part we can do without, like, we don't need the packet that she sent. So she wants to do it Thursday at 8.30 in the morning because that's an asynchronous day and he doesn't have any other classes going on that day. So I was like, okay, we'll get that first part out of the way. I still haven't been contacted by the this, this psychologist that's supposed to do that other um, <clears throat> evaluation with him. I guess that's the last part of it. But she hasn't contacted me to let me know when that's going to be. Um, now I have to... <clears throat> she did say that we're going to need, like, coins and stuff. So probably to do some kind of dexterity thing with his fingers. So I have to find coins, because I don't know where I have any coins. I think I have, like, a little piggy bank somewhere that still has coins in it. But I have to do that before... You know what? I'm going to write that in my planner. But yeah, it was just a really busy day today. And now I haven't... All I have to do now is finish, uh shipping orders, packing and shipping orders. Um, Steven starts, starts his new job on Friday. I don't know if I even came on and talked about it yesterday, but when he went, the guy hired him on the spot. Um, and he starts on Friday, which is good. I figured they were going to wait till Monday, but um, he'll have that full day and then the weekend. So it's it's a crappy shift though it's 10 a.m to 7 p.m so it's like that middle of the day shift you lose your whole day i used to hate working those shifts when i worked at rite aid because ours usually was uh either eight to four or like 11 to eight <laughs> so i always preferred the eight to four shift even though i didn't get to sleep in in the morning you get out at four and still had some of the day left in the summertime anyway. When I got out, like, in the wintertime, it was already dark. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping this works out. He said it's a gigantic place. They're like, uh, they make toys, which is pretty cool. I think I mentioned that before. Um, or maybe I didn't even get to talk about that last week. But it's toys, so it's not, like, heavy lifting and stuff. And he has to work in the warehouse section anyway, so he's just going to be, like, shipping stuff and picking stuff and using the, the forklifts and the, the reach, reach trucks and all that crap. Uh oh, I dropped it. Just... Hey, buddy. You don't want to come here, huh? Okay, ready? Here you go. <laughs> I dropped it. Hi, bun. What are you curious? What you doing? <laughs> Eden's computer would 
it froze this morning before school started and then Hi. it took forever to restart and then once it came on <laughs> what are you doing? if something's wrong you're gonna tell us <laughs> yeah well it was frozen and you didn't tell me right so it took forever to restart it and then once it came back on finally in this light you can really tell the brown on top as opposed to the darkness anyway once it came back on it said it was doing updates i need to go brush my hair i just woke up not that long ago so then i'm like crap he's gonna miss his first class because this was like six minutes before school started so i was rushing trying to get my my desktop computer does not have a microphone because i don't stream or anything i have no use for a microphone on that thing so i had to run downstairs and get Steven's microphone, hook it up to my computer, hook the webcam up because I don't have that thing hooked up all the time. I don't use it for a lot of stuff. So it was just running around, having a fit that he was going to be late for school. And then by the time I had that all set up, the computer was back on. So now I'm like hoping that it's going to be okay the rest of the day because he has this friggin' Uh, math test today he's gonna take he's got speech basically today is Wednesday but it's just as busy as Tuesdays usually are so I'm glad that he doesn't have full days the next two days because I'm going out of my mind <clears throat> why did you go grab a juice you already have a full bottle of water you gotta drink that water too okay, okay. <clears throat> anyway let's hope the rest of the day goes a little bit better than this I'm back I need a cereal bar. Yeah, you're eating a cereal bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. So, and it's already been stressful today, but luckily Aiden's done with everything. It's only ten thirty. Stephen just left for his first day at this new job. Um, they originally wanted him to start at on Friday, but they called him yesterday and said they wanted him to start today. Today's Thursday. Um, so Aiden had his, the first half of his OT evaluation this morning and he, I thought he was going to be like mellow for it because he's usually more mellow in the morning than in the afternoons. The afternoons is when he starts like getting antsy for the end of the school day and she usually sees him in the afternoon. <laughs> so, um, maybe he's just really likes the teacher and he's like all bouncy and all over the place with her, but like... It's, it's so hard to, for him to pay attention in her class because he's like, out of all the other things he does, like the OT stuff is the hardest. So <laughs> he did okay with it. It lasted an hour. I think it was like an hour exactly. But in the middle, he was like, I have to go poop. <laughs> then he went to the bathroom because she was like, that's fine. You can go to the bathroom. And he clogged the toilet. So I'm like freaking out that I, I'm like, go get back to your class and... Uh, what a what a freaking morning anyway at least that's over with we just have tomorrow and then he has a week of vacation so be stress free hopefully on that stuff uh, <clears throat> I need to start my sale I'm going to do like right now because I mean, I announced it on Instagram first from my Instagram followers so they can like get in there and get anything they want before it sells out. Oh, why is my eye so itchy? I was on the phone with my grandma last night and she ha she was having like an allergy attack from something and I'm like, I don't know why, but now today my eyes are all itchy. It must be something in the air. But um, what was I saying? I totally forgot what I was talking about. I, I turned on, I announced it yesterday for my Instagram followers so that in case anything is going to sell out, they can grab what they want and then I will send out like the email blast and everything after. I don't have the, the overhead light on in here, so that might be, it might be why the lighting looks wonky. Um... But I just have to fix all the places in my thing. I'm going to do that while I'm not talking because sometimes I do it while I'm trying to talk to the camera and I screw things up, but <laughs> I still haven't found a hair straightener to replace my broken one. 
when I straightened it the other night, I used my old, my older Revlon one, the one that has like the two inch plates. I love the big ones like that because it straightens my hair so much quicker. I got hiccups now. I can do like bigger sections at a time and it only takes me like 15 or 20 minutes to straighten my hair. But that one had been not working as great. And now when I tried it again, it worked fine. So I don't know what's up with it, but maybe I'll just get another one of those. Cause that was seriously, that Revlon one was only 30 bucks and it's the best. I think it was $34.99 at Ulta, but it's the best <clears throat> um, flat iron that I have ever used because <laughs> it does it so fast and it goes up to 455, which is uh, good for my hair. I still don't know where I was getting 500 from. I am pretty certain I had one that used to heat up to 500, but I looked very thoroughly the other night and could not find any that heat up to 500. So I don't know what the hell that was about, but maybe I was thinking 455, I don't know. All the ones I find, the highest they go up are 455. <clears throat> now I don't know which one it was. One and a half inch extra long ceramic flat iron. I'm pretty sure I had a two inch one. I can't remember anything. I if it, if it is a two inch one that I have, which I'm gonna have to go measure it, then Ulta doesn't have it anymore because they only have four and three of them are only one inch and then they have a one and a half inch. That might be what I have because it looks just like an extra long ceramic flat iron. Look at this, I come downstairs to get dinner ready. I want dinner! All right, can you not yell? Okay, because the kitties are scary. Yo! All these kitties are waiting for me. There's. Tigger and the fluffy gray one are down there. I don't want them to run if I... Why is the camera so blurry? There's Tonka. I don't know why it's so blurry. And Tigger and the fluffy gray one are waiting for me. They're all just chilling, waiting. Hi, Tonk. Tonka has cool eyes. His eyes match his fur. They're kind of like amber colored. I don't know why this is so blurry. I'm gonna go feed them now. There, now that I got the blinds out of the way, you can kind of see a little bit better. These are the only three that have been coming to visit, so I don't know what happened to all the other cats, but I put two bowls out there. I have three bowls in total, but I, ha Hi. <laughs> I haven't been having to put all three out there because there haven't been as many cats coming around. I just have to ask, has anybody ever seen the show Zombie House Flipping? Um, it says it come, it's on A&E. I just watch it on Philo. Um, like, I only started watching it a few days ago because I, I wanted something to have playing in the background as I was working, and I like watching, like, home renovation shows and stuff. This show is so ridiculous. Like, they, tr they overact so much to try and make it seem more interesting. Um, like... Uh, every, the way everybody talks is like it's so scripted and then like they have the little interviews with them when they're outside and talking about stuff and it's, it's just like it's so overdone but I'm sitting here cracking up at it he's like I didn't think it was gonna go that way but you never know what can happen and stuff like that and then this house that they're doing now it, they, all the houses they do are in Orlando because that's where these people are located and this house had a termite problem, so one of the guys is in the attic crawling around, like, inspecting how bad it is, um, how much the termites have gotten to and everything, and it's, it's, it was so obviously set up, it's not even funny. He fell through the ceiling, and he conveniently landed on a table so it wasn't a huge fall. And it, like, you could tell the table was set up right underneath where the ceiling was bowing anyway, and he forced himself to th fall through the, the ceiling right there where it was bowing. And he's like, oh, <laughs> acting super hurt. I'm sitting here cracking up at a friggin' house flipping show because it's so ridiculous. So it's called Zombie House Flipping. It's worth a watch. There's like, I think it's currently on a new season right now. I'm on season two. Let me check. And I noticed when I logged on on Philo today that it said new episode. So they have how many seasons? Do I have to like go into this? 
all episodes. They have five seasons. This current season is season five. I don't know how this has been on so long. I've never seen it, never even heard about it, but the, it is, if you like ridiculous <laughs> overacting. Like there's no, there's plenty of other shows on like HGTV and stuff that do house flipping that I've seen them all before. I haven't ever seen one that overacts like this. Like they're trying to make it seem super cool and cutting edge. <laughs> it's so dumb. I like the renovation part of it, but these, the people that are on it are absolutely ridiculous. So I just had to like pop in here and talk about that because I'm sitting here cracking up at it. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's about, that's all I had to say. Look, it's like an hour later, and Tonk is back again. I think he can probably smell that I'm cooking chicken. <laughs> and I always cook them a little bit of extra, put some aside for them. It's not done yet, Tonk. Hey, Tonk. tries to focus on the damn blinds. Where'd you go? Look, I got chicken. Ready? I don't know what's up with the, the light every time I try to record over here. Ready? Boop. See how cool his eyes are? Ready? Boop! He doesn't want to take it from me tonight. Hey buddy, last piece. <laughs> well, this morning, today is Friday morning, um, one of the kitties, I hope it's the cats and not something else that did this. Steven just left to go to work and he's like, look outside near the table because we have like a little patio table out there and chairs. Not that we ever sit out there anymore. We brought it with us from the old house and it's just there, but <laughs> there is a dead squirrel and like the guts are everywhere and I don't want to go outside now. What am I supposed to do about that? I'm not going to, ugh. Gross, guys. I don't know which kitty cat did that, but that's gross. Um, is it, I read a thing, or saw a video or something. Ugh, what is this? Oh, the fragrance oil leaked everywhere. No wonder I can smell this everywhere. Hold on one sec. I smelled the fragrance oil the other day, I guess, and was wondering why I could smell it so strongly out here still. Ugh. Um, yeah, I read something or saw a video about if your pet brings you dead animals like that, like mice and stuff, that they, it's because they think you're a bad hunter or <laughs> something like that, something to that effect. So, I'm a bad hunter. Um, but yeah, today's Friday. I'm waiting, in, it's only 9 o'clock, I'm waiting until 10 o'clock for Aiden's speech class. Um, Stephen already left because apparently on Fridays they work 9.30 to 6 instead of 10 to 7 or whatever his normal schedule is. Um, I got these meaty sticks for the cats because they were on sale. Sheba meaty tender sticks. But they're salmon flavor and <coughs> none of them like it. These cats don't like fish, it's so weird. So like when I get the canned foods, I need to get the, I get this kind, the Friskies Shreds, because this is the kind my cat Puss used to love. Um, they all love this turkey and cheese one. That used to be Puss's favorite. But I get the three pack that has that, the beef, and then the chicken. I don't bother with the, the ocean white fish and the salmon and all those, because none of them seem to like fish. It's so weird. Never seen cats that don't like fish. Um, I just put food out there, but it's kind of like a, it's not raining out yet. It looks like it's going to rain, but whenever it's a uh, humid, like 
looking like it's gonna rain day. None of them are over, ever over here. They're probably hiding out in the garage next door. But yeah, I'll probably come back on again later. I just wanted to <laughs> talk about the gross dead squirrel that's out there. I'm not gonna show you, I will spare you that, but I hope something else takes it away because I don't wanna have to go out there and like scrape it up with a shovel. That's gonna be disgusting. Um, oh, and I just thought too, the friggin' the Amazon guys come to the back door all the time to <laughs> deliver stuff because I like you can put on Amazon where you want your packages delivered and ever since a few months after we moved here I've been having it sent to the back door because if you just leave stuff out front they never ring the doorbell to let you know it's there and like the thing with Amazon is they come any time of the day so they come at like eight o'clock at night to put that in there, to put that in the front. I don't check out front anymore, <laughs> or I forget to, because uh, there's no mail or anything at that time of night. And it, I don't like leaving it out front all night because like people walk up and down the street all the time and I have had stuff stealing, stolen before. So I just would rather Amazon put it in the back. And now I'm like, do I have to go out there and clean that? Cause that's gross if the guy comes around the corner and there's a dead squirrel there. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to have to go clean that up. Um, ugh. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you later. I am so thrown off with what day it is from him having these... My hair needs to be washed today. From him having these two, like, asynchronous work days in a row and, like, weird class schedules and stuff that he missed speech because I kept thinking he has it on at 10 o'clock on Wednesdays. I kept thinking it was 10 o'clock today, but he has it on not at nine o'clock on Fridays. So I just went in there at 10 o'clock, like you ready for speech class? And he's like, Oh no, we missed speech. I looked at the schedule thing and I'm like, damn it. How did I do that? I, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> like I'm just in a million different places my head is thinking of all of the crap I have to do today and everything else so now all he has in a half an hour is his social skills class he emailed the teacher and I was his uh, speech therapist and I was like oh my gosh I'm so sorry completely spaced out what day it was and kept thinking that he had it at 10 o'clock today and she said it was fine because I guess a lot of the other kids that she works with had a field trip today I don't know he, he his grade didn't have anything otherwise they would have been sending out a bunch of emails like last time when they had the the field trip to the the children's museum but yeah um he missed his, <laughs> his speech therapy today i guess it was okay because he saw her monday anyway for like the uh the second half of the the no that wasn't even this week was it Yes, it was. He saw her Monday morning for the, the second half of his evaluation, so he did technically see her twice this week, but it was going to be three times. Um, I'm wondering if the, the packet that the occupational therapist said she sent me is going to be here today, because she said I can open it um, and just take a look at it, but he's not supposed to see any of it. Um, it's just like activities and stuff she's gonna have to do with him for his evaluation and then after that I think she said March 7th is what I wrote down uh, for the second half of it because that's when they come back from well like the week after they come back from vacation and then all I have to worry about is the psychologist contacting me because she hasn't yet um, but that should be it <laughs> although sometimes like the school sends emails and stuff and I don't get them. I don't know if it's just because I still use Hotmail or what. <laughs> I need to get a different email address. Um, just for like school related stuff because sometimes I don't get the emails. And th there was something, uh, his IEP, um, somebody from the school had sent it to me to like digitally sign and everything and I never got it so I was waiting for it because his, his teacher told me it was coming and I had to email her and say, uh, they said it was going to be sent out a couple days ago and I never got it. <laughs> so they had to resend it and I got it that second time. So I don't know. Sometimes I just don't receive the stuff I'm supposed to get. Uh, 
I just need this glass to hurry up and be over so that <clears throat> I can get to work on stuff because I have so many packages. If I just show you the floor right now, it's like covered in packages that need shipping labels so that I can get them out tomorrow because it's even working now. The only day I'm going to be able to go to the post office is on Saturdays because he doesn't come home till the post office is closed. And I don't want to be like, rush to the post office before you go to work and drop everything off so that you can, that it'll go out today. There might be some some weeks where we have to do that, but um, if the post office opens at 9 and they close at 5, he doesn't come home till like quarter past 7, 7.30. So <sighs> it kind of sucks now not having that white car that we used to have. Like I was all excited to sell it and get rid of it and now I kind of wish we still had it so that we'd have two vehicles and I wouldn't have to uh, be homebound. Um, th then again, I hate, <laughs> I hate backing out of our driveway. When I had to go out because Stephen was, when he first got COVID and I went to go get him that medicine from CVS it took me forever to back out of the driveway. If I go outside and show you, you will understand why. I, I've always been bad at backing up. I, I avoid backing into ba uh, parking spots at all costs. I don't know what it is. My brain just doesn't function to back out of anything. And our driveway only had, like, it's on the side of the house. And then they, I've explained it before. There's like the, you've seen probably when I show you the cats and stuff. There's a big like cement pad in the back to park on. That's there's plenty of room on that, but go, backing up along the side of the house, there's probably this much space on either side of the house between on either side of the car between the jeep and the fence and the jeep and the house on the other side. So you constantly have to be looking at the windows and making sure. And for some reason, I always like tr I'm always leaning to the left, and then like I have to pull forward, straighten out, and then it's leaning to the left again. I don't understand how I do that. Like, I'm, I'm trying to use the mirrors and back up and then look and make sure I'm not going to hit the the fence pole on this side and the friggin' grapevines and stuff. And uh, when I backed out that day, when I went to CVS, I scraped the front driver's side just <laughs> against the like the thick part of the grapevine that goes up the the metal post that they're they're hanging on uh puffy gray <laughs> good come on Never wants it. Never wants to take it from me. The black kitty is outside now. I don't think he or she. I still can't determine if that one's a boy or a girl because I can't get close enough to it. But hasn't seen me yet. I think he's watching something in the backyard. He's also not paying attention to me. Kitty cat. Did you hear me? <laughs> I wanted to turn around. It's rainy and gross out. I'm surprised that there's even any kitties out there right now because they usually... Oh, I guess it did stop raining. I thought it was, it was pouring before. That's why everything's wet. And something took away the uh, dead squirrel because see where that chair was? It was right behind that chair. There's no sign of it anymore. And I think it was the fluffy gray one because she was the only other one that I saw over here. Uh-oh. I see a envelope over there and I hope that's not my mail <laughs> that blew into the backyard. I'm gonna have to go look. Uh. That's exactly what it was. It was the super expensive uh, mica powder because my lovely mailman 
left me um, this giant envelope, which was the packet that I was waiting for for Aiden's occupational therapy, um, in a cardboard mailer, getting soaked in the rain. He didn't even try to like put it inside the door like usual. Uh, he never does that. Like, if I get an, an envelope like that from FedEx or anything like that, and like we're not around, he the guy will open the screen door and put it in between the two doors so it doesn't blow away. So he just threw it there in the rain and I got that, but then I had got the, the notification that that had been delivered and I didn't know where it was. So I figured maybe he marked it as delivered and it's going to come later today, but nope. I'm so glad I looked out there and saw an, a manila envelope <laughs> because this is the uh, $50 a container mica powder that I showed you guys the other day. Um, and it would have been lost and I probably wouldn't have been able to get a replacement for it because this is from Etsy. So <laughs> oh god. Anyway. I'm very glad that I decided to go look at that cat and film for you guys because I spotted that against it was it must have blown against the fence all the way down the driveway because it was right up against the fence. Thank God that I saw it. Oh my God, I would have been so mad. All right, so that's that. <laughs> These were the cupcakes I made for Valentine's Day. There's four left, and I was gonna throw them out because I figured they were stale as hell, but they're still really moist. So I might actually go eat one. What day did I make these? I'm trying to think. I don't know. When was Valentine's Day? These are like a week old, so maybe I shouldn't eat one. <laughs> so yeah, I need to figure out a situation for a bigger mailbox. Because where we live, I've explained before, the mailmen deliver on foot. So you're... Because we're in the city, like the area that we're in... None of these houses around here have like a typical mailbox with a post in the ground on the sidewalk. So all the mail, all the houses around here have the mailboxes attached to the house and ours is little tiny because where it is, our uh, the doorbell cam is actually attached to it too. It, it's just, it's a little tiny thing that was here when we moved in. Obviously, I haven't, I have never bought a new mailbox for here. Um, and not a lot of stuff fits in it. Like, you can basically just fit letters and typical mail in there, and I get a lot of packages, and I have the issue with this guy who just leaves the stuff in the rain and everything. Like, if we're not home, forget it. I, I have to, like, track my packages and know when I'm getting stuff because I can't not be home when he delivers things because it'll either get stolen blow away like that just happened because it's so goddamn windy here all the time so i'm trying to find mailboxes now and like there are bigger ones that will attach to the side of your house like that but there's not enough room in between like the edge and the door frame to put a bigger mailbox so i don't know what to do um i don't know if it's like allowed to attach a a standard mailbox to like the railing of our stairs like the stairs that come up into the house I don't know Hi. if you can do that or not I don't see why not um like it's still attached to the house it's not down at the like, huh? making faces. <laughs> it's not down at near the the driveway or anything so I don't know I'll have to look into it but all I know is I want a bigger mailbox because I'm sick of this crap happening I'm so glad that I found that that friggin' package. It was like a hundred dollars worth of worth of mica just friggin' blowing down my driveway. Thankfully, it comes in like jars from this place, so I didn't have to worry about it getting ruined because the envelope was all wet. But yeah, um, gotta look into mailboxes now because I don't want that happening <laughs> anymore. And then the guy will probably still put stuff on the ground instead of putting it in the mailbox. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun being a good boy. He's. This is the new thing is like he's super obsessed with making faces at himself and it's becoming a problem for school because like 
I have to make sure I turn off his self-view camera on Zoom and stuff because otherwise he'll just be doing this in the camera the entire time and not paying attention. Then I can't shut it off for uh, speech therapy and occupational therapy because they are, they're an outside service. They, they, they're not like, they're connected with the school as in like the school hires that service uh, those clinicians to work with the kids and they use a different program. They don't use Zoom. They use um, whatever meeting thing theirs is called. So I can't shut his camera off for that and it's become very annoying lately because he just wants to look at himself and not pay attention to what's going on. So I'm hoping that's just a phase and that goes away because he's been doing that constantly on his tablet, just taking pictures and videos of himself. And he currently has his tablet taken away from him because he was being a bad boy <laughs> so um he'll probably get it back this weekend but he was trying to record himself saying bad words again so I want to try and nip that in the bud and not have that be a constant thing so we took it away from him for a few days I'm just worried that when he gets it back it's gonna start all over again I still did not go do my hair as you can see the pieces hanging down were annoying me so I just clipped them up Um, yeah, it's almost, almost four o'clock. Oh, did you hear that? I got like, <laughs> like gas burbling up through my throat. Um, I made a baked potato for lunch and that was a mistake because I'm, I'm hungry again. Like I'm starving right now. And last night I tried to wait until Steven was like on his way home and then I started dinner. Which wasn't bad because for some reason I wasn't hungry at all during the day yesterday. And tonight he'll be home a little after 6 so I don't have to wait as long. But like, I'm super hungry today and I don't know why. I didn't eat anything for breakfast though. That's probably another reason. But I don't eat breakfast like when I first, w <laughs> when I first wake up it always tends to be... Uh, Later on, like when Aiden's doing school stuff, I'll just grab something to, to munch on. But I'm starving right now and I'm getting headaches. So I know damn well if I don't eat something, my headache's going to get worse. So I don't know. I'll go find something to to eat. I didn't, I, I didn't eat a cupcake because I looked it up and it said like if a cupcake's refrigerated, five days is usually tops and it's been six so <laughs> I'm not gonna eat the cupcakes but um I may come on again later so I won't say bye right now hi I go we today got... I want McDonald's you want McDonald's okay we got one of those gigantic big blankets it's not the big blanket brand, but it was off of Amazon, and it's so comfy and gigantic and big enough for all three of us to snuggle on the couch. And I'm also back. Where's Aiden? Aiden, that TV is so loud right now. We're watching Eddie, Eddie VR. We love Eddie VR. Um, <laughs> and his entire Mario set. Is the Hot Wheels set is all over the place. You know what sucks about these though is that the cars don't want to go along the whole track. It's really annoying. Like they're not heavy enough to continue. <laughs> it was all put together, but Aiden's trying to like reconfigure it and make different. Like, where does this go? Um, it's really cool and it looks really cool, but the cars don't want to go on it. So you just like wind that up and then this one the bomb this is all like super dusty because it was sitting in his closet for so long and then he realized oh hey i can put it together 